Hello and welcome to Pavli Connect. So in this video, we will see how you can use Google Sheet formulas in your automation workflow which you create in Pavli Connect. Now here guys, you can see that I have created a workflow and in this workflow, I have selected Pavli Form Builder as a trigger application. So here I have created this form. And after connecting this form with Pavli Connect using this webhook URL, we have captured this response as well. So we just took an example of this form over here. Basically, you can use the same steps, you can use the same process for any of your automation workflow. Now here in response, you can see that we have received the first name, last name and three values. And we want to add these details in our Google Sheets over here. First name, last name, three values. And also here in the result section, we want to add the sum of all of these three values. So here guys, to add the formula or use the Google Sheet formula in your Public Connect Automation Workflow, there are a couple of ways. The first way is to directly add the formula in your mapping data. So here guys, we have this Google Sheet action step added. I have connected my Google Sheet, selected the sheets as well, and I have also mapped the data. Now here guys, after mapping this data, as you see, here we have the field of result. And here in result, we want to add the sum of all of these fields, all of these values. So you can directly add the formula, Google Sheet formula over here in the mapping data. For example, we want to add the formula of sum. So we will write sum. And then one by one, you can map this mapping data over here. So we will map this data, add a comma, then we will map this data, add another comma, and this is it. And the formula is completed. So whatever value we will be getting from this form submission, this response, automatically all of this data will be added in the Google Sheet and also the sum of these values will be added. This formula will be added in this result column because here in result, we have added this formula. Let's check it. We will click on save and send test request. And yes, here we have received a positive response and here in Google Sheet, you can see that the same data has been added. We have the first name in the column of first name. Similarly, we have the last name. We have all the three values. And here in this column of result, you can see this formula has been added. We have added this formula of sum and you can see the same formula over here. So in this way, you can directly actually enter the formula in this mapping field and then map the required values for that formula as well over there. And then whenever we will be getting the response, the getting the data, whenever this automation workflow will be executed, that formula will be added in our Google Sheet. Now guys, after setting this up, let's test this in once. So here we will get back to this form and here we are going to make a submission. For example, test user, this is the name. Let's enter our number as 17, another number is 45 and the third number is for example 100 and click on submit. So as we click on submit, the form will be submitted and because we have created this automation workflow between Pavli Form Builder and Google Sheet and we have added this formula in the result, we can see all of this data will be added in our Google Sheet as a new row. And yes, here you can see that the data has been added. We have the same name, same values which we have added in the form submission. And here we can see the same formula of sum. And the values in this formula are now changed with the same values which we have received from form submission. So guys, this was the first way using which you can actually set up this automation workflow over here. Now after this, instead of this formula of sum, you can actually enter any kind of formula which you want to add in your Google Sheet. And also in that formula, you can map the values. Now, other than this, there's another way using which you can use the Google Sheet formula, the spreadsheet formulas in your automation workflow. Now, to use that way, we need to use a module, a feature of Public Connect, and that is called number formatter. So here, guys, before this Google Sheet step, click on this add action step button. And here in choose app, search for number formatter. Select number formatter. Then in action event from the drop down, here you can see an action event of spreadsheet formulas. You have to select this action event over here. Just click on connect. And then here in this formula section, you can basically enter any of your spreadsheet formula. What all are spreadsheet formula supported over here? By clicking on this link in the help text, you can see a list of all the spreadsheet formulas which this module, this feature of public and supports. And here you can see a list of all the formulas over here. You can basically use any of the formula according to your choice over here. For example, let's take the example of the same formula over here. So we are taking an example of the same formula of sum. Let's add the same formula and one by one, let's map the same values as well. These are the three values. Let's close this bracket and then just click on the save and send test request button. Now, after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that in response, we have directly received this result of all sum of all these values. 
Now, after getting this result, you can actually map the same response, the same result over here in the step of Google Sheet. So here guys, you just have to clear this data and here in result, you can map the response from number formatter from the dropdown over here directly. And after mapping it, just click on this save and send test request button. Now after clicking on save and send test request, here in our Google Sheet, we can see that the same data is now added in a new row. But this time the actual value is added, not the formula. So in this way, you can use your spreadsheet formulas, Google Sheet formulas, and actually apply it in your automation workflows. And according to that, you can add the data in your Google Sheet as well. And instead of this, guys, in this video, I just took an example of Pavli Form Builder. But instead of this, you can use the same process in any of your automation workflow according to your use case, according to your requirement. So guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others, and subscribe to Pavli for more such content on automation and integration. So this is it for today's video, guys. Thank you. Have a great day.